hello uh, good morning or good evening whenever you're watching this for us it's morning and the time is 10 past 9 on a Sunday morning um, at the beginning of August so hopefully I'm not watching this too far in the future um, I fancied a bit of an adventure this morning I fancied going somewhere and doing something a little bit different um, I'm in a I'm in the back garden of Jason Jones again and he's been up here also Damien Waters has been up here a couple of name drops for you uh, well worth checking out their videos um, yeah plan is going to the top of that one um, it's a relatively easy walk apparently a bit steep in places but we haven't got to climb over any rocks so that's the plan for this morning head up there uh, we've had about a two hour drive to get here uh, roads have been okay so yeah all I wanted to do is check in and say hello well, I've got a breath in me breath, or breath in me body. And uh, yeah, next stop will be about halfway up there. And we'll catch up with you and say hello again. But for now, Denise is unzipping her shorts. <laughs> I've got mine off already. And we're gonna go up there. So I'll see you in a little while. This is the bit you don't get to see. All this photography luck and the walking. <clears throat> this is the bit that people don't show you. Look at the sweat. Look at that. We're ringing. Even though it's a nice breeze, and it is a nice breeze, and it's just a lovely temperature. And as you know, if you follow me, I'm not a gig sun lover, but this is quite nice this morning. But yeah, this is the bit. This is the bit that you don't see in between all the B-roll and the photographs. The blood, sweat and tears you have to go through. It looks like we're both smiling. We're not, it's grimacing. <sighs> so yeah, we're gonna have a break here for five minutes, drop of water, hydration, remember to hydrate, and uh, maybe a jelly baby. <laughs> right, back in a bit. You know what we can see from here? Um, over there, that's uh, Dinarwick Quarry. It's a uh, slate mountain, it's been cut out. It's got layer after layer. Um, we've been up to the, about two thirds of the way up. Um, I put a link up to my video up there. Me and Gary went a few weeks ago, or a couple of months ago now. Uh, we spent the night in the car and walked up there in the morning. Um, down the bottom here, we've got Lamberis. There's a little hump, if you can see that little hump, I'm not sure you can, and the town down there to the, to the right. The lone trees down there. Uh, that's on uh, Limpadan, or Padan. Um, so can you see it? You can just about make out the castle. There's a castle down there. But I've also just noticed over in the distance over there, and I know you won't be able to see it on the GoPro, but where the blue comes in and on the end of this fence, you can see Carnarvon Castle, um, which is pretty awesome. And you can also see the lighthouse over on Anglesey, uh, famous one. I haven't done a vlog there yet, but hundreds of people have. Um, where you walk out and you've got a cross and all sorts. It's a right classic image. So yeah, there's plenty to see from up here. And we've just been talking to a, to a guy that lives local and he said, if you look right out on that direction, on a really clear day, you can see Blackpool. And you can also see Hollyhead right up on the top. And he said, if you look over that direction on an extremely clear day, it's about 56 miles away, uh, you can just about see the highest mountains on um, Ireland. So awesome. Right. 
sun, tint, sun cream's going on. So we don't get a burnt nose. <laughs> so she don't burn her nose. And we're going up that way. Uh, it's a full summit. When we get to the top there, we still got to go up some more. So let's get to that bit. And maybe we'll stop and chat there. Disaster. We just started walking and uh, just went to get my drone out so I could do a little bit of drone footage for you. And I've just realized I've left my me, me phone, my me iPhone 6 on the dashboard of my car. I never leave it on the dash, but because I was looking for directions earlier, I put it on the dash and say putting it back in my pocket. Schoolboy error, proper upset. Um, it's too far to go back down and get it. I'm just hoping that people leave it alone. It's not a very popular car park. It is out of the way, um, good or bad, I don't know where that is. Um, but I'm more worried about the sun being on it. So I'll let you know if I save enough battery in this and we get back to the car later on. I'll let you know if it's dead or not. But it's right on display, right in the middle of the dashboard. What an idiot. Oh well. What? <laughs> I left my walking stick at the style. style. So, <laughs> I'm not having a very good day, am I? Oh look, <laughs> there it is. Idiot. Right, <laughs> going back up. You can see me this is a good tip for you if you've got a tripod with a removable leg i brought one walking stick and take my leg off my little tripod extend my leg like so i've now got two walking sticks one less thing to carry and a handy little thing to be having in your hand makes it easy doesn't it really tip of the day. daren't even take my mic out of my pocket. As we've just seen, I've got my polarizer on my Lee mount. Um, I've got my Lee filters and uh, I brought an adapter that fits all my lenses. So I've got a pack of lens, pack of lens adapters, all different sizes. Let's put this away. I've got a pack of lens adapters, adapter rings, different sizes, uh, 58 to 77. 72 to 77 to fit all my lenses. I've just put one on the front of the camera and uh, just went to clip on the um, Lee filter and uh, I didn't bring the 77mm clip that holds this on. So consequently, if you look at this, consequently it won't stay on. I'm not having a 
very good day. It's burst my phone, now the adapter, so I've got no filters for my camera. Um, all I'm going to do, I'm going to have to use something to try and cut the haze out. I'll uh, hold on to it and rotate it with my hands. What an idiot. What an absolute schoolboy idiot. Lesson number three, <laughs> or lesson number two. Don't forget your filter ring. Lesson number three, don't forget your phone. Lesson number four, don't forget the wife. <laughs> no, she's still here. Right, I'm gonna hand hold this and see if I can do something with it. And uh, I'm gonna put my mic on anyway so you can hear me properly. And see if we can make something useful out of the day. The light's cracking down there. It's just very, very high sun, harsh shadows, which I don't mind. Um, I've got a nice leading line, I've got the mountains, I've got the sun and the sky and the clouds, so if I can make something of it, I will. <laughs> Back in a minute. Right. Uh, I'm going to try this handheld. I'm going to put the uh, filter in. This is a grad filter just to take a bit of the sky off. I'm going to have to hold it on the front of the lens, which is real schoolboy. And I'm just going to try and find a shutter speed that's uh, fast enough to hold it all in. It's got rid of a bit of the glare and uh, I can see the sky. It's, uh, I'm going to take the two second timer off. I'm focusing on the sty in front of me. Um, and I'm just going to take shots handheld. Because I've got the, the lens held on the front of the camera, I'm going to get camera shake anyway if it's going to happen, so there's no use in using the two second timer. Um, I'm just going to have to get a good, you know, well enough, high enough shutter speed to, to make sure I, it compensates. But yeah, it's a nice little image anyway, I quite like it. And again, I've never been here before, so I'm bound to take a few images anyway. And there's nothing wrong with that, let, let, you know, let's face it. If you're going to be here, on the perfect light, on the perfect conditions, all be it. But like with me, as you know, I'm here now, um, and I'm not here on the perfect conditions. All be it perfect for walking, but not uh, perfect for photography. So I'm gonna make the most of what we got, why we got it. If it changes, then uh, we'll get something else. Right, I'm gonna take a couple of shots here. I quite like that one I've just taken. I've got the 18 to 135 on. I'm not overly keen on this lens, if I'm gonna be honest with you, but I thought if I'm coming up here, I didn't wanna to carry too much, so I brought this one, and I've also brought the uh, 10 to 22 um, for the Fuji. This is my X-T2, um, just for a bit more light, you know, something a, bit, something a bit lighter weight. Um, so yeah, I'll zoom in. Like I say, I'm not overly keen on this lens, but I know people use it and they get some you know, amazing shots with it, so, it's obviously not the equipment, it's got to be the user. So let's take my time and make sure it's nice and sharp. Uh, I'm on F9, so I'll probably be shooting between F8 and F11, um, it seems like this. Uh, yeah, there's a bit of a scene over there with the, with the lakes. Zoom in and get some closer crop scenes, and I like the Dinora Quarry over there as well. Can't see the top of Snowden now, it's gone under a bit of cloud. So I will take a few photographs, pop them up as I go. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And leave me a comment, let me know how much of an idiot I've been so far, forgetting all my equipment. Not normally like me, so a bit of a dizzy day. Hey ho. Oh, hints and tips number, what are we on? Four, five, six, 35p from a non-lesser known brand, exotic coconut mix. Um, I can't say Audi, I'm not allowed to, but uh, other supermarkets are available. <laughs> but yeah, these are great. Gives you a little bit of energy and a bit of boost when you need it. Magic. I know there was a drop over this side, but I wasn't expecting to see this. Wow, we look at this. Rocks, views, Limparan, 
Denarwood Quarry, whatever this lake is here, which is pretty awesome. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a view. Fantastic. Right, I need to take some photographs quick. Look at the light. Got all this shadow area with the clouds gone over it and the light in the background. So I'm going to snap a few shots here. Uh, I'll leave you running for a bit and you can watch what I'm doing. Right. Wow, what a view. Basically, I'm just going to be uh, looking around and seeing what I can find. Now, I like the shadows just coming down over that lake now. So I'm going to zoom in on the lake. Switch your camera on, zoom in on the lake, and uh, just get a snap of it with a, the two-tone. Um, got the camera on bracketing, just in case, so I've got a stop over and a stop under. But yeah, what a fantastic little place. What absolutely beautiful views. I actually think this is a place worthwhile camping. Uh, looks like Denise is picking up my bag and her bag and bringing them down here. Well, holy moly. Do you want me to come and get it? Cool. She's a good girl. She's obviously coming down here as well now. Right, this is uh, an image of Dinorwig. And uh, it's going to be a grand vista, I think, this one. I may even shoot it in a panoramic in a minute. Uh, F8. F8, lake on the lake on the left, on the right, sorry, Denorig in the middle. Just awesome. I'm gonna try the polarizer on it. See if it makes any difference. It's got a bit chilly when the sun goes behind them clouds. It's uh it does get a little bit chilly. Let's see if this polarizer makes any difference. Um spin it round. Oh it's taking the glare off the water and it's making the sky go nice. So yeah, we'll hold the polarizer on there. Let's get a beautiful histogram now. That's not bad, that at all. Not bad at all. Quite like that. Grand Vista. Zoom in a little bit closer. Um, need another pair of hands when it's doing it like this. It's not very easy. It's windy down here, babe. It's windy down here as well. That's quite nice. Quite like that. Lake in the bottom. Denarwig in the top and uh, there goes my battery. But it's really nice. Right, change my battery. Denise is hiding down there on the wall. And we'll be back in a bit.
got another tip for you. Denise tells me you're not allowed to eat the Maltesers or the chocolate raisins, no matter how many you find. Bugger! I think we're done, uh, taking a few images, and uh, I think I've got a nice one, one of them. I think it looks quite nice, looking down with a wide angle lens on, so we'll see when we get home. Um, obviously you've seen a selfie already, I would have thought. Um, if not, stand by, there'll be one coming up now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's been, a good, it's been a nice walk this morning. It's been relatively easy to get up here, and the views up here are spectacular. Um, we're going to go down, back down to the car now, see how my phone is, um, just hope it's alright and still in the car. Um, so yeah, we're going to pack away and head off. So we'll um, catch up with you next time, maybe next week. Um, I put videos out every week at the moment, and I have been since February, so please check them out. And Denise plays the lead lady role in most of them, if not, Gary does. Um, but <laughs> yeah, he plays the lady. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, please like and subscribe, please um, maybe tell a friend and if there's been any helpful hints and tips in this video that you think someone might benefit for, you know, share it with them, let them know. Um, but until next time, I'm going to say ciao for now and we'll see you all again soon. behind them trees. Denise has got a bit of a favour for this heather, so we thought we'd pull up and have a, have a look and see if we can get a shot with the heather. You never know, we might find one.